Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm the explosive one. Let's get into another one. TNT, Yo. did you hear about the Michigan-Michigan State football fight? Did you hear about this? I have not. No. So, okay. So, obviously, they're like rivals. They're not as big of rivals as like Michigan and Ohio State, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I guess what happened was there was a player that like before the game was in the middle of their... They were in Michigan State, I think. And he was like trying to like mess up their logo in the center of the field or whatever. Oh, he stood, he stood on their logo. So, so then after the yeah, game, yeah, yeah. somehow they ended up in the tunnel together and they like jumped one of the Michigan players and one of the dudes hit him with a helmet. Oh, like that's a little nuts. Yeah. Like, wow. and uh, so like the video, there's a video of like, one Michigan player being like assaulted by like numerous Michigan state players, like punching him. And like they had one a side video, they saw like a helmet come out and like hit him, like broke his nose. Like, so they're not gonna, these guys are gonna actually be like charged. Yeah, yeah, I would hope so. Oh, never mind. Yeah, uh, yeah, dude. So I don't, I like, why do they let the teams go in through in, in the locker room together? And why, why are people so okay? Well, look, Jonas, you know. You're a sports guy. This, this, you sports should know guy. this. You should know is that to stand on the opposing team's logo is considered disrespectful. Yes. There's been numerous times where there's been like... Like T.O. run out there and they run and push him off the logo just, and stuff. Exactly. That's the one I was going to bring up. It's like, that's disrespectful. As a football player, you know... The consequences of something like that now, the consequences should not be getting hit in the nose, but the consequences is somebody's going to react. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, there at no, there's nothing that's done on a football field that should warrant swinging a helmet at another player. Yeah, but you never know what another person's going to do, how passionate they are about their football team or whatever, you know? Yeah, man. They disrespected my mama. Out here hitting him in the face with a football helmet. Hey, like, look! If anything, the guy should have known that he was gonna. He was he was bringing the smoke to himself. But so. I think someone else got the smoke. I think the guy who did it wasn't the guy who got smoked. Oh well. I think I, the. I, I mean, but hey, if you're in a gang, sometimes you get you get you get shot because your homie did something, right? Hey, you catching strays, right? Yeah, yeah, catching exactly. Stray. You out here. Um, they, they were pissed at Michigan, and he was he was he represented Michigan at that moment. Right. With that being said, I hope these guys are brought up on on charges. You can't just go around hitting people with helmets, and that's, you can't just go around assaulting people. Period. No. Now, if they had, if they had just like roughed them up, I would have been like, oh. <laughs> just what? Just like push like, them. Yeah, he a earned bit. that. You earned that. You earned a little ass whooping. You know, they just like everybody got like a lick in, and then this everyone them. just like popped him in the ribs real quick. Like, yeah. that was your, but no face hits. Look, as long as he can get up like within five minutes. Within five minutes. <laughs> what? He walks away. He goes <laughs> home. He eats a steak. Is that what happens after you get assaulted? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I go home and eat a steak. Does that help? The protein helps you like rebuild yeah. when you're all beat up. You got, got, <laughs> you got to put testosterone back in your body. to After they stole it from you. <laughs> from your ass. <laughs> right, right. I just got my ass with my tea is so low right now. I've been told that men leak testosterone through their tears. So <laughs> I yeah. don't think that's true. Like if I yawn in the morning, I tear up a little bit immediately. I'm just like, take it, a, a tea pill. I'm just <laughs> take a, <laughs> I got a tea pill just waiting. Oh my god! <laughs> my, my eyes is watering. Oh shit! I need oh, some more tea. Yeah, dude, I get low tea. I just watered a little bit now. <laughs> I'll be bored. Yeah. Pill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, but yeah, dude, pill. I just thought that was ridiculous. Like, it is ridiculous. Have you ever uh, been out and about and like seen people get attacked? Like, have you ever like witnessed a uh, like a attack in public or anything? Uh. Hmm, not necessarily, but I can tell you one story that kind of kind of fits in with this. Yeah, um, with like the the ride or die nature. I remember there was a guy that we I knew from the mall, uh, Rich. I mean the uh, the Ashtabula Mall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the and, town uh, center. Yeah, and you know how like everybody in the town knew each other, or at least knew it knew of each other. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, this kid was uh, he was he was a known shoplifter. <laughs> okay, and he had actually gotten me some clothes at one time. I was like, hell yeah! He brought them right over to Mister Heroes where I worked and delivered and dropped like, them off. He's just like, I just got these from Spencer Gifts for you. <laughs> Yo, I still have those pants, <laughs> but uh, so so um, we knew each other. We hung out. We had uh, imbibed together a few times, and then he told me one time that he was having problem with another group of kids and he was like yo dynamite you're a big motherfucker 
could you please come down and just like, you know, look intimidating? And I was like, you know what, homie, you've been so good to me. You've got me free stuff. You've done this. You know, we always talk. I'm going to roll out with you. So me and five other kids in a car. I say kids, but we're probably like 18, 19, 20. Okay. And uh, getting in the same car, we're riding down. And I realized that the other group of people is a group of friends that I'm way closer to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. So, so, so you show up on the – then did you, like, flip sides on him? Like, yeah. you, you walk up, he's like, what, what? And then you just you just step through their side and turn, and he's like, oh, my Yo, Lord. It puts you in a weird situation. It's like I'm looking at these groups, and they're like, what the hell is he doing here? He ain't going to do nothing. He was at my house yesterday. And it's like these guys are like, yeah, we got the, we got the big gun. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you try to mend the fence? Nothing happened, man. Did it you was try a, to mediate? Just, a, just a lot of jaw jacking. But I stood there. I stood there just kind of, you know, kind of give like the thing rain. Like, why are you over here looking tough? You were <laughs> just hanging out yesterday. I wasn't trying to look intimidating. I was just looking tough. All right. What's the difference between that? <laughs> intimidating is more like it's directed at the at the individual. It's like, mm. oh, like you're staring down a man. Yeah, looking tough is just more like you know, mm. mugging. Yeah. Mm. Did mm. you have a gat? Difference. Grunt. Yeah. <laughs> Grunt goes up. Guns come out. Yeah, exactly. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm trying to think if I've ever. I, I have seen like a bar fight break out before. Okay. Like yeah. that was that was scary because it was like it started getting wild. Somebody got hit with a pool stick. Like oh wow. Yeah, it was, it was a real bar fight. It was like a real bar fight. It Beer was a, bottles. No, it was oh, in. Uh, that's, it was that's down bad. on the harbor at uh, Ashtabula, mm -hmm. and I was out. We were drinking, playing pool, having a good time, and all of a sudden, like a scuffle broke out. And this dude cracked a pool stick over this dude's shoulder from behind, like because he would start fighting. And there was like probably like eight people that were fighting, like four on four sort of thing. And mm -hmm. I was just like, "What is happening in here?" Like it, because especially when people start throwing chairs and hitting people with pool sticks, like that's a real fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like two dudes pushing each other, being like "F you, F you," and a, and a, you swing a swing a fist. Yeah, that's one thing. Like when you start throwing chairs, that's when people get hurt because that's yeah. like that's like uh, misguided anger. Yeah. Like if this would have been this time, somebody would have got shot because I'm sure in Ashtabula somebody's got a gun now. It seems like if yeah. they can, if they could afford. I mean it. that same area, someone got shot at a bar like a couple years later. Walked mm. right in, shot some dude. I was like, oh man. Yeah. Well, I don't live there anymore. People, people shoot anymore. Honestly, Jonas, better to get hit with a pool stick than to get hit with a beer bottle. Uh, I could see that, and better than getting hit with a bullet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beer bottles put people on life support for the rest of their life. A really? Oh, because it's so hard. Yeah, like a real. It's not like the movies, man. <laughs> they don't break. No, no. I'm, and if you do break it, you've hit them with enough force to concuss them very hard. I've seen some of the uh, aftermath of what a beer bottle to the head can do to a person, and it's like that person goes from being like a normal kid going to college to. Not being able to use the bathroom on their own. Oh, really? Oh, like you've had to, oh, wow, you've had to like encounter people that have had that. Yes, oh, he yeah, was in yeah. a bar fight, and this is what's happening. Yes, exactly. And it was a single beer bottle to the head. Guess what? Caved his freaking skull in. So, oh, Lord. If you're ever in a bar fight, look, pick up the pool stick, not the beer bottle. Jesus. <laughs> well, it, well, yeah, and it's like, just and, say it. And I mean, it makes sense because, like, well, then it definitely don't break it on the bar and stab somebody with it either. That's, that's just as bad. <laughs> I don't think that half of the people out here could actually break a beer bottle on the side of a bar like I, I think movie. you could, but I would be afraid the the neck would break and slice my damn hand up. Like I don't know if it's gonna break the end off. <laughs> like the, it, yeah, it's not gonna break like like in the, it's not gonna be like a perfect shattered half a bottle with like no, the it's, serrated the neck's exit. gonna break and it's gonna <laughs> slice your damn hand up, dude. Yeah, like that's it's, where, yeah, it was passively yeah. So like yeah, and well, and that's and that's the messed up thing about glass is like just the act of it breaking. Can can cause all sorts of like of stuff like that happening. Yeah, like, you're liable to break it on the on the bar, which I'm dead serious. I don't think that most motherfuckers can. And you're gonna end up with a shard of glass in your eye. Yeah, or your hand, or you're gonna slice your hand. Like it's like people who punch out car windows, and then they're like, "Oh, why is my hand bleeding, gashed open?" Because oh, like, because the force, the glass is so sharp. I want to punch a car window out so bad. What, why do you want to ruin your life? What are you doing? I just want to do. I You'll feel take like, like a finger off, bro. I took my tea pill, man. I don't know what you want. <laughs> yeah, you were <laughs> tearing up. Now you, now you got all full of tea. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.